when people used to become immigrants, they had to learn English. They still have to ostensibly do that. Ostensibly. Then why do we have Spanish taught in schools? Well, well because a lot of people in the schools are illegals. A Westland Wilsonville School District committee member who resigned today after coming under fire for offensive comments she made during a podcast. That some of what you just heard, some of many. Jenny Young on the story tonight. Jenny, you spoke to that woman tonight. What is she saying? All right, well, I did call her and we spoke briefly over the phone. She didn't want to do a formal interview, but she said, you know, she's not upset about this because she, she doesn't regret what she said. She said, this is just all about politics. So really what you're asking me if I think communism is going to take over our country or not. That's an audio clip of 76-year-old Doris Whaler talking to former state representative Matt Wingard. Well, some kind of wishy-washy globalist, socialist, communism hybrid, yes. Wheeler was a guest on Wingard's podcast last month. And up until today, she was a volunteer member of the Long Range Planning Committee for the West Lynn Wilsonville School Board. She said after 20 years, the district asked her to resign on Thursday day after they took some heat from parents upset about statements she made during the podcast, including this one. So how do we get the black community to quit having babies that have no fathers? Wheeler also mentioned recent riots across America and her feelings towards Antifa. Some rioters and Antifa need to be killed. <laughs> well, now that that's that's very strong. This all comes a day after the Westland City Council held a virtual town hall on how to improve race relations. I am the mother of one of the only black kids in Westland High School. Her son Charles will be a junior this fall. She says every year when February approaches, she asks if the district is going to celebrate Black History Month. Let me tell you what the vice principal said, the kindest man. He says, well, you know what would happen? And I'm going, what? He says, then they'd want white history month. The district told us they have an equity team. And this past year, they made it a goal to, quote, disrupt systems of racism. The district did stress to us that they are doing everything they can to fight racism. Now, Miss Whaler, she did send us a full statement. If you want to read that, go to coin.com. Reporting live tonight, Jenny Young, Coin 6 News.